Today we're going to learn how Forty Tester can carry out different MITRE attacks. Now let's log on to the Forty Tester. Where you see the attack MITRE coverage matrix. The green highlighted functionalities are what's available in Forty Tester today. Users can click to show all or the Windows specific techniques and into one of the green boxes, in this case, Persistence, App Init DLLs, to see the techniques under this category. Forty Tester has many MITRE attack techniques and tactics available, and these are updated via subscription services. In order to run the MITRE attack cases, we are going to download a light weighted ag Windows agents onto two holes. One is a desktop, the domain and host configuration specifies which domain name, in this case attack test, and which hosts on the domain you are including in the test. In a larger environment, you can selectively test specific hosts or domains. Under abilities and adversaries menu includes the methods of attack. Under attack cases, we are going to demonstrate a few test cases today. Starting with credential dumping. Now we are going to run the test. As 40 tester is testing on the two different holes, we can see two successful attempts on them. The test uses Mimikatz, a leading post exploitation tool that dumps passwords from memory. FortiTester first uses getComputer function to extract all the holes available in the domain, including both the desktops and the server, and sensitive information such as SAM account information, logon information, timing, etc. In the second step with Mimikatz is where we get interesting data with getCredential functions, such as the encrypted and the clear passwords. Note, this is credential dumping attacks is across all the accounts and machines within the domain. The second test we're going to do is scheduled tasks, which means hacker has the ability to schedule a task on the victim's computer to run. Since we've ran the test before, Forty Tester has the ability to save results. The result shows functions like Get Computers is successful. The most interesting actions are the last few, where after Get Computers and Get Credentials are run, Forty Tester has the ability to do a X copy of a file from the desktop to the server, a higher value target and successful in scheduling a task on the Windows server. This proves the hacker has the ability to schedule a task to run on the Windows server, another successful attack. The next test we are going to do involves exfiltrate files from the victim, which is often done by hackers to extract information from systems. The party screen with ls listing directory shows the current folder is empty. After exfiltrate are run successfully, 40 tester will retrieve various files from different folders from the victim's PC. We can see the listing and extracting of files happening. Let's stop the test. The result is evident in the hacker's PC showing the files are now extracted from the victim's machine. The next test we're going to do is running PowerShell, which is a very commonly used among system administrators and hackers. Running of PowerShell involves get admin, which is listing all the administrator accounts on the two hosts, including the domain and local administrators on victim's PC. 
The last test is execution through API, which is similar to PowerShell tests where Windows APIs are used to extract information. Note that tag tags, the gray boxes, are also shown to educate users which techniques are used. Within 40 tester, view abilities can display the dependencies of each tactic and techniques. For example, under exfiltrate files, we can see the related abilities, which any of these techniques can be used to exfiltrate files from the victim. Today, we've demonstrated how MITRE attacks can be carried out via 40 tester and is available via a subscription service with new attacks available via 40 gun updates. Thank you for the time to learn about 40 tester today.